All right, welcome back to another video. And today we are working January 2022, paper two, question seven, which is a rather fun topic, which is sequence, which come under section one of our syllabus. So it says a sequence of figures is made from lines of unit length and dots. The lines form a series of octagons and squares. The dots are placed at each vertex and the first three figures in the sequence are shown so they gave us figure one figure two and the figure three so part a says figure three of the sequence is shown by itself below add more lines of unit length and dots to figure three to correctly represent figure four so if you realize that from figure one to figure two what they did was to basically create a square here a square here and complete another octagon so basically an additional one two three four five six seven eight nine well, eight dots were added so it will be one two three four five six seven eight dots were added for figure three it was the same thing it was one two three four five six seven eight eight dots were added so now, therefore, if we're moving from figure three to go to figure four, we are adding an additional eight dots. And we're following the same sequence as to what they did. So we're putting one here. So creating a dot here. Then one here. So we're now completing so this dot would create the square, then we're completing the octagon. I didn't proclaim to be an artist, so therefore yours would be much straighter than mine. And then here. So what it will look like is something this to this this complete that square here but now this now is the octagon something to that effect much straighter but you can see we inputted one two three four five six seven eight dots which is in line with the sequence that they were doing before so yours will look much more better than mine well deserving of a grade one but that would be what your answer should look like part b now says the number of dots d and the number of units lines that form the perimeter of the shape p form a pattern the values of D and P for the first three figures are written in the table below. So they told us to study the pattern of numbers in each row of the table. And it says complete rows numbered one, two, and three. So what I always tell students to do is to first derive your formula, which is N here. Once you can derive your formula, then every other thing in the diagram, in your table, becomes easier to solve. So once we can derive, so we do this by looking at what is our pattern. So for example, if we're moving from figure one to figure two on the number of dots, then you realize we move from eight to 16. So let's go number of dots. So we're trying to figure out what our formula is. So we move from eight to 16. So 16 minus eight, and we got eight. So this is the first one. Then we move from figure two to figure three. We move from 16 to 24. So that is 24 minus 16. And that will give us eight. So what we realize is that there is a recurrence of eight where each time eight dots are being added. And we did the same thing for figure four up above, if you remember. We added eight dots. So therefore, what we always do is therefore go ahead in deriving the formula and first we're testing out we're going to multiply this recurring number by n and n represents the figure number so we're going to say 8 multiply by n 
and what we'll get is 8n. Should I now test this formula? 8 times 1, it will give me 8. 8 times 2, it will give me 16. 8 times 3, it will give me 24, which means that my first formula is 8n. I don't need to add anything or subtract anything to it. So my formula, so number of dots, of dots is equal to 8n. I can now go to the perimeter. So looking at the sequence on the perimeter, we had eight, then we move to 14. So if I should do 14 minus eight, what I will get is, sorry, 14 minus eight, what I will get is six. If I then do from the second one, 20 minus 14, what I will get is six. So I am now going to say, okay, so the recurring number is six. I'm going to test my formula by multiplying six by N. And we know that N is the figure number. So six times N, that will give me six N. Testing now my formula, six times one, that gives me six. So I'm short by two because I needed eight. When I go to figure two, six times two, I got 12. I'm short again by two. If I go to figure three, six times three, that will give me 18, so I'm short again by two. So what we see is that in each case, I am short by two. So therefore, if I add two to my current formula, I realize that I can get my answer. So if I do six n plus two, I can get the formula. So six times one is six plus two will give me eight. Six times two, will give me 12 plus two to give me 14. Three times six, 18 plus two to give me 20. So now I have found my formula for the parameter. So this is just a way you can always try to get what the formula for your different sections are. So with that said, I already got my two marks here. So this is 8n and this is 6n plus two. And with that, I can now go ahead and solve. So therefore, number of dots for figure four, this would be under that it would be eight times N. And we know that N in this case is four, so eight times N. So that is eight times four, and that will give me 32. So therefore, my dots for right here would be 32. For the parameter, it is 6n plus 2. So what we'll have is 6 times 4 plus 2. 6 4 is 24 plus 2 and that will give me 26. So therefore, the parameter here is 26. This is 26, this is 32. Now, for this part, part two, they gave us the parameter to be 86, and we are to solve the figure number and the number of dots. What we can do first, is to solve the n value because we have the formula for parameter which is 6 6 n plus 2 and we're saying that should give us a parameter of 86 so all we need to do is to go in and make n the subject of the formula so what that will be is 6 n is equal to 86 minus 2, so therefore 6n is equal to 84, and therefore n is equal to 84 divided by 6. So let's see what that will get us. So this is where we had two both, so we're subtracting two from both sides. So that's how we got 86 minus 2. The 6 was multiplying here, so when it comes across, it's will be dividing and that is how we get 84 divided by 6 
and what we'll get is 14. So our n value is 14. So we now know what our n value is. So once we know what our n value is, we can easily now solve what the number of dots is because our formula for dots is 8 times n. 8 times n, and that will give us 8 times 14, and that is equal to 112. So 8 times 14 and that will give us 112. So we know our answer for that part. So this is 114. We already know what our values for those would be. So for this, we will just come now and write 8n. And for the other one, we already derived that formula as well. So we just write 6n plus 2. And that is how we got our 8 whole marks. For part C, it now says for any figure greater than 1, so for all the figures that are greater than 1, D, which is the number of dots, is greater than its parameter, which we saw, which is true. And it says determine the value of N for a figure in which the difference between D and P is 36. So I'm just going to take this and populate it on this one here. So we're getting rid of these, getting rid of. All right, so what the question told us is that for anything, for all figures greater than two, D D is greater than P. We can see that for ourselves as well. So what they want us to find is therefore The difference, so they said D minus P will give us 36. So they want us to solve for the value of N. So all we're going to do is to substitute our formulas here. Our formula for D, the number of dots was 8N minus our formula for our parameter, it was 6N plus 2 and that should be equal to 36. So all we're going to do is to solve for n here. So we'll have 8n is equal to, well not equal, so 8n is minus 6n because minus times this 6n and then minus times a positive 2 that will give us a minus 2 is equal to 36. So what we'll have here is 8n minus 6n that will give us 2n minus 2 is equal to 36. Now this 2 it is subtracting here when it comes across it will be adding so therefore 2n is equal to 36 plus 2. So therefore 2n is equal to 38 and therefore n is equal to 38 divided by 2 which will make n being equal to 90. So our value for n for which for the figure in which d minus p is equal to 36 would be 90. But thank you for joining us and we will see you in another video.